kind of excited. Mosquitoes are the world's deadliest animal because more people die each year as a result of mosquito-borne disease than any other cause. So today we are looking to collect some of the many mosquito species to see which ones are dangerous. Uh, we're checking traps this morning. Casey's a mosquito biologist. Andrew's a entomologist. We're gonna try to figure out if there's any such thing as a, a good mosquito and a bad mosquito. Now, I definitely don't think the only good mosquito is a dead mosquito. Well, you did get some. About 30 in there. Oh, there's good. a lot of in there. Just look. But I will say I was not prepared for how many types of mosquitoes actually exist in the environment. 80 different species in Florida. And over 3,000 worldwide, all of which have a slightly different biology. And this trap is designed to attract just a few of them. They're attracted both to the light right here and the CO2 coming from the dry ice here in the cooler. This trap is specifically targeting mosquitoes that are looking for a blood meal. Is it reasonable to say there are good mosquitoes and bad mosquitoes or is that kind of too judgmental? So they're not all bad. They serve some type of role in the ecosystem. And this is important. They're part of the food web. As larvae, they eat organic material in the water, and they're food for tons of other organisms, both in the water and when they're adults. We should probably define what a bad mosquito is. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about mosquitoes that are affecting our ability to be outside. They make us not want to be out in the environment. They're transmitting mm -hmm. pathogens to us and our animals, so like dogs mm -hmm. with dog heartworm. Um, and they're things that are, I guess, just negatively impacting the ecosystem. But there are so many mosquitoes around yards like this in people's neighborhoods that are not biting people. They're biting birds, they're biting rodents, they're even eating earthworm blood, but they're not really bothering us. So there are mosquitoes that are gonna cause a nuisance to humans in there and could potentially transmit right. pathogens as well. And those were the mosquitoes I wanted to learn more about. Should we just take this to the lab then and then we'll lay them out and see what we have? Sure. So we grabbed the mosquitoes and went back to the university's entomology and nematology department. And there we picked up a collection of pinned mosquitoes that are used for teaching medical entomology. How cool is this? There's so many more than I thought. Now to go check these out under the microscope. And was this ever a treasure trove of diversity? There's really big mosquitoes and really tiny mosquitoes. A lot of them are the brown that you would think of with mosquitoes, but some of them are just so colorful. Take this one for instance, the giant elephant mosquito, whose larvae only feed on other mosquitoes. Arguably, not a bad mosquito. Are these the tiniest, the uranius? Uranius. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? Uranitania. Oh, Uranitania. Uranitania and dinosauritis are both pretty They're small. I don't see really big. Do you want some serophora? Yeah, we'll scalinippers. This is how much of the afternoon went, us geeking out about the scientific names of all the different mosquitoes that we found. But every time I kept coming back to this, does it transmit disease? This is not a major concern in terms of disease transmission. And this was the case for most of the mosquitoes. The exceptions, Culix, which transmits West Nile and a handful of other encephalitic diseases. Anopheles, which can transfer malaria. And this one, the Aedes mosquitoes, which are responsible for dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. All potential problems in the United States. And clearly, at least as it relates to us, some mosquitoes are good, some really bad. And speaking of bad mosquitoes, make sure to watch the other videos in this series to learn how some mosquitoes can be the vectors of disease and what both you and mosquito control can do to help improve human health.